Okay, hello guys, welcome to uh, Retro Bikes Dublin, another one of these uh, more moto vlogging style videos. Today we're on the Yamaha Virago 250 Cruiser we have in from Japan. Just over 17,000 kilometers on the clock, which is around 10,000 miles ish, maybe a bit more. Front bra disc brake, rear drum, 250cc uh, twin, um, V twin, I think. Um, little cruiser, uh, great, just a bit more than the usual 125s that we get here in Ireland. Um, it's in decent condition, nothing too uh, fabulous, nothing too wrong, but it is going to be for people starting off or uh, people, yeah, pretty much people starting off. So just turn it on here, starts right up, no choke, it wasn't exactly cold, I did just ride here about it. She was sitting here for about 15 minutes after a ride. So we're just going to head from here, which is in around the Sandyford Industrial Estate area, uh, back down to Retro Bikes Dublin. Now, she's definitely not like the Magna 250 I rode. I mean, that the sound, for me personally, I don't think the sound is um, fabulous on her. But she is what she is. Um, great little starter bike. Um, I also I also changed the position of the mic in the helmet. And I'm hoping that'll help with the uh, audio. Because it wasn't, it wasn't bad audio the last few times, but it wasn't great. I'm hoping this position... Uh, just slightly up more. Okay, thank God. Those two lights took forever. I'll uh, cut it out in the video, but Jesus, I was sitting there for ages. Anyway, she is a five speed manual twin cruiser 250cc. Uh, she is A2 license applicable in Ireland and England and throughout Europe as well. Um, very simple bike to work on. Uh, she doesn't have the same problems as the, G the 125s had of these Viragas with the starter motor problems. Uh, they don't have them. Like in the 250. She's also very, very low seat height. I'm about 187 centimeters, which is about 6 foot 2. And of course, I have no problem getting my foot down, but I mean, I think you could probably be 4 foot 11 and you'd probably get your foot down on this thing. Um, she, as I said, only has 17,950 kilometers on the clock, very low kilometers. She checks over, I mean, she works very well, she goes through the gears all, all nicely, uh, stops and goes, and tires are all right, uh, too. Nothing too major to be said about her. She's not as salubrious as uh, the likes of the Magna 250 that I had on the road. Um, that would be my preferred of the two, but again, this does come in at um, a good bit cheaper than that bike um, as well. Oh no. All the controls are nice. Uh, choke here, uh, you have your horn, your indicators, your lights, kill switch. Kill switch! Starter, uh, starter button as well. And she has a bit of get up and go. She's not, she's not super slow in any uh, means of the word. But she's not, uh, she's not particularly quick. The uh, throttle is very, very forgiving for starters. Uh, clutch is very easy. Uh, long throw on it. Uh, starts early and uh, it keeps on going, so you can kind of edge out the clutch very nicely. Gears are easy to find, neutral, super easy to find also. Um, I need to go left here. Oh, the bus is going to be stopping here, so I'll just wait for the bus to stop and go around it. Uh, indicators, all that are working. She's very easy to insure as well. There's been quite a lot of the the 250s and stuff, they're not a very un unusual bike, you know, insurance companies know them. Uh, easy to insure, cheap to insure. 
Tax is 67 euros a year, being a 250. Uh, insurance, I'd say, looking around my age, 21, 22. Uh, first time rider, you're probably looking in around the 600 euros uh, per year. Maybe a bit more. It depends. Again, I can't say. It depends on where you live, what what you age, what age you are, your occupation, and so on. Yeah, she's a great little bike. She has a bit of go on her. Stops well. Everything working. I mean, it's a great start. Would I see myself on this bike for two years? Or more? Probably not. But that's not what these things are built for. I mean, um, they go through a lot of owners. A great starter. They, you start on her and you move up or you move sideways or you, you dabble in something new. People love the look of them as well, these things. Super easy to find neutral there. She does have a bit of surface rusting around the top here, but nothing major. Again, for the price, it's... it's um, what you want is a good running bike, simple to work on. Just keep the oil topped up and she's... She'll keep going forever. And so don't have too much longer on this little trip. I'm not sure how many minutes we're going to be, but I can't see it being an awfully long video. But it just kind of gives you an overview of what to expect from riding a Yamaha 250 Virago. And I don't know if you uh, you guys have a, are big fans of these. Leave uh, your comments in the comments section down below as to uh, what you think of these things it's not our usual thing we are we, we're we're trying to keep to our more standard bikes FTRs and CB223S's and Honda CB400 SS Super 4's and the Bayas you know XLR's I like that kind of unusual stuff for the small CC's and so on. So that's just Baker's Corner here now anyway. So from Baker's Corner in uh, Monkstown or Dunleary area, we're just past the fire station on your right hand side, which will now be on your right hand side. The turn after the fire station uh, is where we are. And we'll give you direction. People often get uh, lost when they come down to us. We don't have any signage. The landlord won't allow, allow us any uh, signage out the front of it. So it does prove difficult um, and even when we go in we're right around back so I'll, I'll show you uh, the whole way around the back so we're just at this right here after the fire station beside, beside that big uh, tap and people like to find us and we're in the industrial so this is Ardmore Park so we're in the industrial estate on the left here so in here of precision mo motors at the front here and then we're all the way back around so I don't know if you've enjoyed the video it would be greatly appreciated if you could give a like uh, leave a comment as well of what you think of these types of videos um, and also if you haven't already subscribe for more Irish motorcycle content in the future